Hello students, hope you all are doing good. I am Mrs. Sarah Shakil and I welcome you in your second English language class. Before we start our topic, let's revise what we have learnt in our previous class. Parts of speech, nouns, pronouns, verbs, adverbs, adjectives, conjunctions, introductions and articles. Let's see what they are. Noun naming words example sabah pakistan cat book pronouns replace nouns example it you we they verbs tells about actions example eating play sing sleep reading adverbs tells about a verb example quietly, slowly, loudly. Adjectives describes a noun. Pretty, short, tall. Conjunctions join two sentences. Example, and, but, because. Introduction shows sudden emotion. Example, wow, hurrah, ah, yes. Articles are noun makers. They always stand before a noun. Example, a and the. Yes, what we have learnt in previous class, types of nouns, common noun, proper noun, collective noun, abstract noun, material noun. And let's see what they are. Common noun. Common noun is used to name general things, place, ideas, events or people. They are not capitalized unless they come at the beginning of a sentence. In this slide you can see many common nouns. Yes, proper noun. Proper nouns are the names of specific people, place, things or ideas. Proper noun should always be capitalized. Yes, in this slide you can see many proper nouns. Yes, next is collective noun. A collective noun is the name of a group or a collection of a symbol of a person, animals or things that is regarded as a single unit. Example, a flock of birds a fleet of ship, a bunch of keys, a pile of books. In this slide you can see many collective nouns with their pictures. A choir of singers, a brood of chicks, a class of pupils, a brand of musician, a band of musicians. Yes, abstract noun. Things which we cannot hear, smell, taste, touch and see. But we can experience them. Jealousy, sickness and some more are examples are colors, sunlight. Yes, now let's see what are material nouns. A material noun is a name of a substance as a whole. Example, rice, sugar, water, milk, table, bag, laptop, etc. Yes, today what we learn? Today we learn countable nouns, uncountable nouns and genders. Let's see the definition. Countable nouns are for, are for things we can count using numbers. They have a singular and a plural form. The singular form can use, a, use the determine a or an. In the picture you can see many countable nouns. Our example are thousand of children, hundred of bottles, two minutes. In this slide you can see countable nouns. Yes, an apple, three apples, a banana, five bananas, a sandwich, two sandwiches, a cake, nine cakes, a bun, four buns. Yes, what are uncountable nouns? 
Uncountable nouns is a type of common nouns that cannot be modified by a number. They need a unit of measurement. Example, water, sand. In this slide you can see many uncountable nouns. Yes, we can use numbers before these numbers. Oil, a tin of oil. Meters of cloth, a pinch of salt. Yes, uncountable nouns. Let's see what they are. Uncountable nouns is a type of a common noun that can be modified by a number. They need a unit of measurement. Example, water, sand, etc. In this slide you can see many uncountable nouns. We cannot use number before these nouns like oil, a tin of oil, cloth, a meter of cloth, salt, a pinch of salt. Yes, in this picture you can see some nouns are uncountable. We cannot put a number before them. They have no plural form. We cannot count water in the jug, so we will say there is some water in the jug. Yes, in this slide you can see both common noun and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Three apples, some apples. Yes, in this slide you can see countable and uncountable nouns. Three apples, some milk. Let's see the another slide. In this slide you can see countable and uncountable. Let's see what are they. Burgers, sandwiches, hot dogs, cherries, apple, grapes, oranges, olives, watermelon and uncountable are bread, fruit, juice, meat, rice, cereals, milk, coffee, tea. Yes, let's do exercise of countable and uncountable nouns. Exercises. Now let's see the question. Choose the correct answer. I need much more pictures for my project. You have to choose any one from the bracket. Number two. Plenty. A large number of houses were destroyed in the flood. Number three. We found large amount of a lot of jellyfishes on the beach. Number four, a few, a small amount of money is enough for a short holiday. Let's see the answers. Yes. Number one, I need more pictures for my project. Number two, a large number of houses were destroyed in the flood. Number three, we found a lot of jellyfishes on the beach. Number four, a small amount of money is enough for a short holiday. Yes, let's do another exercise. Choose the correct answer. These are three dash orange oranges in a plate. We have to pick one. Number two, these cake cakes are too sweet. Number three, how water, much water is there in the bottle. Number four, I do not eat butter, some butter at all. Number five, there is no bread, some bread on the table. Now let's see the answers in the next slide. Yes, number one, there are three oranges in a plate. Number two, these cakes are too sweet. Number three, 
how much water is there in the bottle number 4 i do not eat butter at all number 5 there is no bread on the table yes let's do another uh, we have another exercise let's do it write c means countable noun for you and for yes let's do another exercise write c for countable and u for uncountable number 1 t number 2 sugar 3 fish number 4 eggs number 5 honey number 6 carrots number 7 oil number 8 chocolates number 9 pasta number 10 bottles now let's see the answers in another slide yes t is uncountable sugar uncountable fish countable eggs countable honey uncountable carrots uncountable oil let's check your answers of this exercise write c for countable and u for uncountable t uncountable sugar uncountable fish countable eggs countable honey uncountable carrots countable oil uncountable chocolates countable pasta uncountable bottle of milk countable yes now new top new topic that is gender noun i will read for you genders in english language comes under four headings number 1 masculine gender masculine gender denotes the male sex example boy father yes number 2 feminine gender feminine gender denotes the female sex example girl mother common gender common gender denotes either sex example teacher pupil neuter gender neuter gender denotes denotes things without sex example orange and tree yes let's see another slide masculine and feminine genders you have read in previous classes also let's revise them god goddess host hostess master mistress tiger tigress bridegroom bride lady lord lady colt filly drake duck you can see in this in uh, this picture also yes common genders common genders are baby girl bird enemy parent child cousin leader student teacher etc common gender denotes either sex and the same word may used be both for the male and female like creatures friend guest passengers tourist etc yes let's see neuter gender neuter gender denotes thing denote denotes things which la with life and sex example bread cup key necklace office and here are bus egg envelope post office title jam war door money etc yes now children it's time for your homework here are two exercise number one is put the words in correct column potato salad cherry dress rice meat juice cake fish cheese now let's see the second question choose the correct answer 
एम एच स्पेंड्स टू मच मैनी टाइम प्लेइंग वीडियो गेम्स नंबर टू वी बॉट अ फ्यू अ लिटल बॉटल्स ऑफ मिल्क नंबर थ्री अ लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ सम स्टूडेंट साइकिल टू स्कूल येस चिल्ड्रेन यू हैव टू डू दीज एक्सरसाइज on a full scrap sheet as i told you earlier in our previous class you have to make your english language file put all your homework in it and submit in the school hope you enjoyed this lesson thank you very much